Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. the Art Center, soon to be known as the Gold Coast Art Center. Most people are not really aware that the arts are not just about wonderful upscale shishi events and red carpet events, but that the arts are also about supporting the educational needs of kids who can't learn any other way. We have about 15,000 kids in neighborhoods all up and down uh, Long Island in Nassau County, and they're all benefiting from our programs. So we're trying to raise money to support those programs. The town of North Hempstead is a town of 230,000 people. It's the fifth largest town in the United States of America. It is considered one of the most successful towns in the United States of America in terms of wealth and natural resources, success and business. Uh, it really is about our community and about us coming together and figuring, figuring out how we grow this festival, the Gold Coast Film Festival, so that everybody can realize how important these things can be and they can enjoy them with us. And by doing that, we really uplift our entire community. When you run a government, we think of it as economic development. This is about bringing in money to our community, uh, the people who come here and do film, whether or not they're making a film, whether or not they're participating in a film festival. Uh, they're going to our restaurants, they're shopping in our stores, they're seeing our beautiful neighborhoods. Uh, it helps uh, spotlight uh, and highlight the, the great communities that we actually have throughout our town and the North Shore of Long Island. And you know what, it's not so bad when you see Brian Dennehy getting a cup of coffee in the morning or Phil Donahue sitting there having his egg sandwich. Maybe they'll stick around for a while. Uh, but when they come, they bring a lot of other people and of course uh, it makes it fun, it makes it interesting and it helps us tell our story which we think is a great story. Well, it's fun to be here and especially with a man of his filmography, my goodness. I don't know anybody who's got a more rich and varied history in, as an actor. He's the uh, opposite of the starving actor. He's been in everything. I admire him so much. Never give the answer, who do you want me to be? Always give the answer, this is exactly who I am. That was uh, certainly on the uh, periphery of my consciousness when I was a kid. I lived in Mineola and went to school on Shamanat. And I've heard a lot about the Great Art Society and the, the Gold Coast Festival and so forth. And Baz Lerman, whom I worked with, has shown a couple of pictures here. So that was enough for me. If I, could, if I can help at all, you know, I will. Have I filed my mind for them? The gracious Duncan have I murdered? Put rankness in the vessel of my peace only for them and mine eternal tool given to the common enemy of man to make them kings the seed of banquo kings going from uh, a serial killer to the shakespearean so what does to it us? take to, to, to have there are serial killers in shakespeare too <laughs> he right? started in the path for example Oh, you know, whatever comes down the road, it's interesting, I do, it's just, I've done everything, so I keep trying to do as much as possible. I thank you for Death of Salesman, Arthur, thank you for Willie Loman, and thank you for this. Well, as far as Brian Dennehy is concerned, he's always been a man's man, but his range, we also saw him on Broadway in uh, The Death of a Salesman. But when you see actors like this come out to a Great Neck, Great Neck Art Festival and you get the chance to see them up close and then have perhaps a two-hour interview with uh, someone as important as Phil Donahue, you can't put a price on that. We're trying to stimulate the film industry here in Nassau County. We have three actually studios, huge studios now in Bethpage. Uh, that is uh, one of the major uh, films is being, uh, being shot there. As, as we're speaking, and uh, I think it's going to become a major center for film development. The Gold Coast Film Festival was founded a couple of years ago, and in the past, let's put it this way, we showed Silver Linings Playbook when nobody had heard of it, when it had just come out of the Toronto Film Festival, and it's gone on to be such an amazing uh, success. It's uh, seven days uh, and six nights of this kind of thing. You can see everything. <laughs>